how do you cope with being treated like you are crazy for following covered safety guidelines, when others around you aren't doing the same? I work at a hospital, and go to covered floors on a regular basis. It's more for your benefit than mine. It's true and unsurprisingly shuts up even the most ignorant of people. I'm a covered IQ nurse. I find it funny when people say something like this. Then when I inform them of where I work, I suddenly have at least 6 feet all around me and people are staring at me in shock or horror. But, you do what you can to keep yourself and your family safe. Don't worry about the others if they don't pay your bills or snuggle up to you at night. Why does their opinion matter anyway? Very true. I hope you're being treated well at work. I live in rural Indiana and hardly anyone wears a mask or distances. I go about life the same way I always do honestly. Stay in as much as possible and when I'm out I pretend they don't exist. When I do get snide comments I just ignore them and carry on with my day. Do you get snide comments in USA if you wear a mask? Yeah, I have multiple times. A few times in WA, where I live. Once in Idaho, a woman started screaming at me. If anyone ever said anything to me, I would probably just laugh at them. My mask even says the immune disease I have on it. Just for that one purpose to keep people for giving me sh. Saying that, I mostly stay home. I do no contact shopping and doctor's appointments. I'll not let anyone make me feel badly for protecting myself or my family. We just lost my aunt today to COVID complications. So I would probably ask if they have lost anyone to COVID and if they said no, I'd tell them to shove their mocking up there. A friend of mine kept saying it was a hoax, overblown, no worse than the flu etc. He was hospitalized for a week and been out for almost a month now and still can't breathe right. Ask him if it's harder to breathe now or was it harder through the mask. Well, he won't know since he didn't wear one in the first place. I'm the first to admit I was very dismissive of it at first. My boss stocked up on PPE. We had policies and procedures in place for when it reached us. And I just dismissed it as an overreaction. Then it reached the UK. Then it reached my town. Then I saw the numbers in the local mortuaries going up and suddenly all the PPE we wore to do removals didn't seem so silly anymore. I was pretty dismissive at first too. Then my parents, the least alarmist people I have ever met these are people who would tell me to calm down. We don't need to make an evacuation plan whenever we had a bushfire nearby. Even if the entire hill behind our house was on fire and we could hear the flames started talking about having dad work from home and how mum was going to pick up a little extra of everything next time she went shopping. Needless to say if those to get worried, I pay the F attention. Two weeks later everything was upside down and the streets were utterly deserted. Freaks me out to think about how quickly it escalated. I've done Thanksgiving for years. This year, it's my husband. Me and my elderly mother minus the 8-10 more we usually have. Somehow, I'm the overreacting a-hole for keeping my mother safe. Hoping it will make them appreciate once we can go back to me cooking like a crazy person. But I'm not holding my breath. My mom has been apologizing profusely because she's too scared to spend my son's first Thanksgiving with him. I don't know how many more ways I can tell her she shouldn't be sorry for wanting to keep him safe. Tell her he's a baby he won't remember this Thanksgiving anyway. But he will remember all the future ones he's going to get to have with her because everyone stayed safe and healthy this year. I embraced a long time ago that everyone else thinks I make no sense. When everyone else has no mask, and questions your sanity for why you're wearing one, that's when you show up with a full PAPR. Also, because if they're not being safe, they're a much bigger threat to you, than you are to them. So the selfish filtration model is justified. What if you cough at them? Hey Frank why are you wearing that mask? I heard there was covered you see. What about you Steve? Where's that mask of yours? I ain't wearing it Frank. It's all a hoax I tell you. Even if it ain't, there's no way it's getting to me. You're just paranoid if you see, no one wears a mask here. Really Steve, I hold on. Coughs like you choked on drugs sorry. After I lost my sense of taste, my cough started to worsen. You were saying? And watch everyone stare at you in horror. Exactly. Recently I was in traveling in a bus and a man sitting beside me wasn't wearing a mask. And when I told him to wear it, he just points toward other people in the bus who aren't wearing a mask. I just told him I ain't gonna tell everyone. You are sitting beside me so I am telling you to wear it. He then puts on mask. Guess what? A man in my next to left seat also puts it on. 
Man I literally just had this conversation with my own father, literally won't listen to logic, problem is I live with him so it's hard to keep distance. Keep on doing it, if anyone asks, just respond with listen, I don't tell you you how to protect you and your family, don't start telling me how to protect mine. Most of the covidiots I run into are against it because they don't like being told how to live their lives, so use that mindset against them. I like this one. I walked out of work, as the HR manager I had no choice. I was just so frustrated that my boss wasn't taking it seriously. This happened in April when we, South Africa, went into lockdown. He wouldn't provide masks, gloves, barriers etc for the factory then insisted all the office workers stay so i walked out i carried on working from home completed all my tasks got disciplinary action but he couldn't fire me months later things have finally changed but i found another job if that's how he treats staff's lives he'll do it again tomorrow is my last day so protect yourself your family first and ignore the idiots this pandemic is real good for you I wish more would take a stand. Your life is more important than a job that doesn't care about you anyways. In public I wear big over rear headphones. At work when people say insane conspiracy shy laugh at them. It's the only response I found that shuts them up. I tried to explain and discuss the fact but once I realized that was never going to work I just started laughing at them. And I mean at them. You got around crazy them by coming up with a bigger conspiracy. Like if someone says the earth is flat, snort condescendingly, you believe the earth exists? Just last night someone said to me hospitals every year around the holidays are overflowing with flu patients. So how can it be covered? I said you believe in the flu? They shut up real quick. I just happily agree. Yup, I'm paranoid. Yup, we are all crazy. No, we still won't get together with you because I'm so paranoid and crazy, and yes, I still wear a mask every time I go outside, because I'm so paranoid and crazy, the top priority in a pandemic is to survive it without getting sick, period, full stop, end of story, let everyone else think what they think, just do what you need to do to keep yourself safe, my dad was tested positive for covered and got admitted in the hospital, but my mum still doesn't believe in covered, mind you, She's well educated and privileged enough to not do that. Anyway, after two weeks, dad's doing much better now. I always keep a picture of my mum in my wallet. Whenever I face difficulties in life, I take out my wallet and stare at her picture. And lately, it comforts me knowing that if my dad can survive COVID, and I can survive being a daughter of a staunch conspiracy theorist, I can survive almost anything. I'm very sorry about whatever the f her problem is. I choose to be paranoid about salmonella, so I overcook my chicken slightly, and wash my cutting board and hands after handling meat or eggs. I choose to be paranoid about becoming paralyzed, so I wear a seatbelt. I choose to be paranoid about brushing my teeth with fecal matter, so I close the toilet seat and put my brush behind a cabinet. I choose to be paranoid about frostbite, so I wear gloves in the winter. I choose to be paranoid about thugs. So I stay alert of my surroundings. I choose to be paranoid about STDs. So I wear a condom. I choose to be paranoid about people's motives. So I stay skeptical. I choose to be paranoid about alligators. So I don't go splashing around in the swamp. I choose to be paranoid about Lyme disease. So I check myself for ticks after I've been somewhere even remotely grassy. I choose to be paranoid about the rope holding. So I double check the knot before I climb. I choose to be paranoid about getting a heart attack or diabetes. So I eat healthy and exercise. You could say that I'm afraid. And going through all these hoops prevents me of living my life. But I say, I go through these hoops so I can live my life to the fullest. Unafraid. For as long as possible simply by protecting myself from ignorance and stupidity. Mostly quesadillas. You're onto something here. LPT. Add cheese and small extras, chicken, beef, whatever's lying around. Crimp the edges of the tortilla, and stick in a toaster on two. You keep your crimps tight, and you have two min quesadillas for days. As good a time as any to post this tasty breakfast quesadilla that I made recently. Fried some onion and jalapeno in butter before scrambling a mixture of a handful of crushed corn tortilla chips soaked in an egg in it. Layered that into a quesadilla with those disc shaped tater tots. 
some fresh cilantro and, of course, layers of cheese. I make quite a few quesadillas and this one was top tier. I wear a hat in winter to keep my head warm. I treat a mask the same way. I don't care what other people think. And I have become so used to having a mask with me I feel uncomfortable without one. Honestly, I'm excited for the masks in winter. Now my face won't freeze, and it keeps me, and everyone else safe. Win-win. Yep, I hated them in summer, but now I think it's kind of nice to have a little face warmer. Plus I end up blowing warm air into my eyes which relieves winter dryness. Just keep doing your thing and keep yourself safe. The others will have to find out the hard way if they get it. This should have never been politicized in the first place. It's really crazy. I went into a gas station yesterday and the owner kept making jokes about my mask and saying oh you aren't going to rob me are you? Then started talking about how masks don't work and it's somehow a Biden related conspiracy. I have to admit I find it extra stupid right now when new crime stoppers photos get released and the suspects aren't wearing masks. Masks don't work. This one drives me nuts. It's like, you know how surgeons have worn masks for the last 100 years or so? It wasn't because they all fell for some liberal conspiracy. I get upset, but you only get to pick so many battles in life. I work in a pharmacy and I'm pretty fascinated by COVID, so I'm constantly reading about the virus, treatment protocols, vaccines, etc. When I smell people trying to be shta about the whole thing, I usually rattle off some of the more interesting things I've read lately and they usually reply with some stupid conspiracy theory and I just tell them I can't go down that rabbit hole with them. Also, while I have the platform, hey, you fine idiots, the government is pouring billions into facial recognition. A mask is your best defense against COVID and restoring your privacy, effin idiots. Also, while I have the platform, hey, you fine idiots. The government is pouring billions into facial recognition. A mask is your best defense against COVID and restoring your privacy. Effin idiots. This is the funniest thing about the ship idiots. Why would the government bother to inject you with a chip that can only be read over a short distance, and would be easy to find and remove, when they can just point a camera at your face? Heard this from someone else just say apparently I care about you more than you care about me. It's like driving a car and the other drivers aren't being safe. You keep your distance, try to stay positive, and try to understand that everyone has different levels of risk tolerance, understanding of the rules, etc., and that the best you can do is keep yourself safe and not contribute to the problem. Getting upset, or wanting to personally intervene to police other people's behavior is perfectly understandable, but it probably won't help, it might even make things worse. So, practice defensive living. I really like this term. Try to stay positive. Not sure about that part but yeah. I remember seeing a tweet that read something like this. Paraphrasing. Even if the pandemic turns out not to be a big deal, and we really are all sheep I'll be content knowing I was a sheep by caring for other people and wearing a mask. This stuck with me and makes me glad to follow guidelines. I cope by not having to go to the ER because of COVID symptoms. Coping by not being on a ventilator gang. I'm feeling some sort of mix of everyone around me is stupid. I wish I could do fun family things like everyone else's, and I must be losing my goddamn mind. Literally everyone else in my life is playing fast and loose with the safety guidelines except my grandparents, because one of them is a retired respiratory therapist. Friends and family I previously thought of as smart, caring individuals are going on vacations, dates, or whining about mask policies. Meanwhile looking down on me because I found a way to not return to my shtai tourism job and still pay my bills. My kids pediatrician encouraged getting their hair cut at a salon taking pictures with Santa this year. I'm about to spend $40 to drive through a park with Christmas lights in an attempt to give my toddler some sense of a normal holiday after feeling like I robbed him of a summer of fun which I did, because every time I even took him to the grocery store, strangers tried to touch him. After sticking to strict isolation, mask wearing cleaning habits since March, I'm simultaneously worn out and reinvigorated. I honestly don't think I'm superior in any way to the people around me, but this she's starting to feel like some basic Darwinism. It's harder when it's people I love who are not being careful, such as still hosting holiday gatherings, seeing each other indoors without masks, 
etc. And then writing me off as the shrill one when I bring any of it up. My wife's a nurse, and she's working more now than ever because what a refine shock. There's a shortage of nurses because they keep getting sick from us wipes like this. And I have no effing problem telling them this. If you don't practice social distancing or wear a mask and you get sick I think you should be banned from going to a hospital. Because your effing stupidity, arrogance and overall selfishness is literally putting the only people who can do anything about this effing bullish at risk. Die in your effing house alone a hole. Keep my wife out of your crap. And the irony, if my wife read this she would be super pissed at me. Because unlike all of you a-holes who refuse to wear a mask and practice social distancing she's a good person who has, and will continue, to put herself at risk to help people.